So here I am at F Barn, being a Florida resident uh, and a DMR user. I'm certainly interested in this. So. DMR radio. We all know the people get on Talk Group 91. How's the weather over there in England? What radio you're running? And I've heard some great conversations on DMR. I've heard some, come on people, let's get it a little bit more interesting. It's great that we can talk globally, worldwide, next door. But, and those things are great, international relations. I'm talking to people I would never have met any other time in my life, but F darn interests me being a Florida resident in Tampa Bay. Tell me about it. Okay, well my name is Steve Cecil. K4KSA, and I'm uh, one of the directors here at FDARN. FDARN is a regional network made, made up of 12 repeaters in the Tampa Bay area, plus uh, of our own, plus we have partner repeaters that are connected via network uh, all over the state of Florida. So our main purpose during times of natural disaster is to help the healthcare industry. That's our, that's our mission. We work with uh, hospitals and healthcare to make sure they have what they need during times of emergency. Uh, outside of that, uh, the repeaters are available for regular uh, amateur use. So DMR is not just Talk Group 91. Uh, it's made up of thousands and thousands of talk groups where you can talk to your friends or different uh, uh, states different states have talk groups, different countries have talk groups, and you can have a, your own talk group just for your bunch of friends. So question for you, you mentioned you're kind of providing a service to the medical industry in a grid down situation I presume where radio is now the, main, the primary means of communication. So can an average Joe like me listen in on that? And I, I obviously I wouldn't want to talk in on that and interrupt something, but how does FDARN, what, what am I hearing if I'm in one of those talk groups and one of those emergency responders is communicating? Um, well, knock on wood, we haven't had that yet. Right, good, right? good news there. So th there's good news there. But uh, you're, you could possibly hear uh, intercommunications from in a hospital from one floor to another uh, stating what their needs are. You could also hear intra-hospital communications from one hospital to another. We have several hospitals that are in um, different corporate entities like Baycare and uh, Advent Health. So they can talk from one hospital to another. They can also talk to their county EOC to, um, to uh, give message traffic to them as well if they have any needs or need resources. Okay, how deep does the training go in those organizations? Obviously they're medical, you know, they're medical professionals, they've been trained in medical, uh, I, I guess maybe are there designated individuals within those organizations at those locations that are trained on how to operate well, the equipment? Not yet, but we are we are encouraging the hospital staff to become okay. ham radio operators. Gotcha. Uh, we will point them to online resources to take online courses, and it, it's our goal that uh, there will be ham radio operators in that business unit. Fantastic. Um, I know I've looked at this online. Is there training material online? Or I should say instructional material to show me how to connect to the talk groups and, and that type of thing? Uh, not through us necessarily. Okay. But, you know, there's lots of DMR help out there. If you go across yep. over there Bridge at Com, Bridge, just Bridge right Com, across the street. Yep. Right across the street, Bridgecom is a great resource for new hams alike to. Uh, learn all about DMR. They'll get you set up. They'll help you program a radio. Okay. Stuff like Perfect. That. All right. Yeah, it's like you said, DMR is a whole lot more than just Talk Group 91. It's uh, very versatile, and I think, you know, hams should start exploring that and taking advantage of that. Appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great show. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.